Adam and Eve and is probably one of the purest and most refined paintings by Mahmoud Said. The mood is very mystical. There's something very surreal about it. Mahmoud Said is regarded as the father of Egyptian modernism. And because he traveled extensively to Europe and studied in France, you have a lot of references to European modernists. He was very influenced by Rubens and Rembrandt and Cezanne. Mahmoud Said rarely painted any biblical or Quranic subjects. He only painted two Adam and Eve's. One is entitled The Migration, and the second painting is this one. At first, you see Adam and Eve. Adam has a very pharaonic feel to him. They're very elongated. They're almost too big for the painting, but at the same time, they're floating. Eve here is represented in a very uh, pure way, which is very different from how Mahmoud Said depicts female bodies. He paints her with no embellishments whatsoever, and she just stands there in the middle of the Nile, which was always a very important feature for Mahmoud Said. It represents the glory of Egypt, the pharaohs. And behind the Nile, you have the palm trees and the beautiful skyline. So you always have these layers in Mahmoud Said's body of work. It's a bit of a nostalgic painting of everything that Egypt represents. 1937 is a very important time as well for the artist. It was the golden era of Egypt in a sense, where the cinema, the poetry, the art community was striving People would come to Egypt because it was such a free and extraordinary uh, wealthy country. Mahmoud Said was really the master at keeping this Egyptian identity in his paintings, but in a sort of European mannerism. For a collector, it's a very important piece. This painting represents everything you want in a Mahmoud Said, from the subject to the composition to the historical references, and all of that makes this painting a masterwork.